All right, what's up? Um, today on this video, I'm going to talk about my hat, actually. Woo! I don't know if you've seen my other videos on what is hat. This is my square and compass um, hat. I'm going to explain the symbology behind the square and the compass and um, why it's important and why I think the the whole... I, you know, I'm, I'm really going to call out here the whole conspirators that are so anti-Mason. Look, all right. Let's break it down. I think let's 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 get real here for a moment. Okay, so I think yeah, okay. There's probably some high-level Masons that are up to some sketchy shit. And um, do we do I know? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. It, you know, they're probably higher than 30, 30 degree. I heard there's higher. There's more than 30, 30 degrees. I'm really getting tired of this whole the Masons are all bad. And Masons are all bad. And I think it's a load of shit. Um, I don't think all Masons are bad. Obviously, Blue Lodge Masons don't even aren't even aware probably of what they're part of. Um, with any of the higher, you know, learning. Maybe some of them. I really don't know. I've been approached by Blue Lodge Masons. Um, I've been given a petition to be part of a Blue Lodge Mason, Mason um, temple. And, um, but I really find the Masonic teachings to be a necessity. If you're going to understand a cult, if you're going to understand what's going on, if you're going to, if you have any, if you want to have any clue to what's going on, you need to understand uh, Freemason traditions. So, uh, let's start talking about my uh, hat um, and why I wear this hat. Um, I think this hat's important. I like that symbol right there. You get that square in the compass because um, that is commonly a Freemason uh, symbol and it is the symbol of your um, well here, before, I'm not going to give a general term for it. I'll just explain it. Okay. Let's think of the square for a moment as the base. Okay? It's the rigid. Okay? It's the imperfect. It's not like a circle. Okay? Square is imperfect. Squ circle is perfect. Why is circle perfect? Pi ratio. Pi ratio is infinite. Pi ratio keeps going on. But yet it always matches. It's always perfect to the circle. Square is not like that. Square would be the Square would be the antithesis to the thesis of the circle, and vice versa. Okay? Now, for instance, a square to the human mind would represent um, base desires, self-preservation, um, uh, hunger, um, uh, the fight-or-flight instinct, um, Things like things like that, okay. Yeah, actually, oh, you, know, you want to also throw in like your connectedness to the earth, though. What but what grounds you to the earth, okay? Grounding, natural grounding, your connectedness to nature. Now, let there be no mistake about the compass, okay? Compass, compassion, compass, compassion. When you start going into those higher levels of consciousness via the compass, the compassion, hopefully this is making some connections here. The square is coerced by the compass, compassion, the base desires of self-preservation are being coerced by the compassion or the universal type love. Okay? Understanding people's natural human rights, okay, and how they're relative to you. But so you can't lose your base. You can't lose it. That's why the compass is on top of the square, but the square is still there, and it's still important. You know, that's why there's, you know, you see a lot of people that are just so pacifist, you know, these people that are, that are out there, you know, you hear all the ultra-liberal, you know, these ultra-liberal assholes is what they are you know they, they're ultra liberal assholes okay and what they do is oh you can't have guns because because um because uh, it's just so dangerous and and what if it gets in the wrong hands i mean, I mean first of all okay first of all what kind of life do you well, what kind of fucking life do you live where where what if it falls in the wrong hands it's like, okay well what if a what if a razor falls in the wrong hands i mean you could just go on forever about what what if the thing wrong falls in the wrong hands and I'll first of all, and I'll say another thing too, real fast here. Just get off way on another fucking tangent, but it doesn't even matter. That the, the guns have already fallen into the wrong hands. 
they're already in everyone, they're all the wrong hands. Okay? That's called the police. And it's called the military. And it's called the government. Most importantly, it's called the government. The worst hands that you could give, put the guns into, and that's where they are. Okay? I'm just so tired of this ultra-liberal shithead argument. Just assholes. Like, if you're, if you're so paranoid about having, you know, if you're so paranoid where you have to walk around with a gun, you shouldn't even probably have one because you're probably mentally off. It's like, oh, yeah, oh, really? So, so, so I'm, ment I'm mentally off. So, so you just walk around expecting that everyone's just it, it candy-coated sugar, sugar land. Is that, is that where you live? I mean, what, I mean, what the fuck, you know? I mean, what, a, what a candy ass. Seriously. People that think that. It's just it's so ridiculous, you know? I mean, what, what kind of idealized world is that? Well, if we have more guns, it's going to cause more crime. You know, and that's just a gun argument. Self-defense is a whole different thing, and that's what I'm really trying to talk about here. You know, you know, abuse of government. We need things to defend ourselves because, because yeah, because there's crazy people. And you have certain human rights, and you can't forget that. And that's part of your rigid base nature. And that's why... I would, that's why the square is there. That's what the square represents. The square is your, ba your base reptilian nature that not, is not supposed to be dominant. That's what all these ultra liberals are. They just start going one whole way. You know, oh, let's not, let's not be too extreme. We, don't, we wouldn't want, you know, to constantly even fear, so let's just not fear anything and live in this idealistic, candy-coated world. It's full of shit, okay? And it's totally a perfect setup for tyranny. Anyone who's in a tyrannical sort of uh, mindset. It's the apex of what they want in a tyrannical situation. Okay? Anyway, going back to what I was talking about. Okay? Um, the... Um, so back to my hat. See, you see, the compassion, okay, or that higher level thinking is coercing the base nature or the root chakra nature okay and I'll probably do more videos on Freemasonry and that's what it really means now some people say okay what's the G about what's the G about well there's many things it could mean I've heard gnosis higher wisdom I've heard and I'm, I'm saying I'm not a Freemason so I really I mean there's probably different lessons in different degrees I hear those different meanings I've heard green because green is the balance color because see when you have those two things together it causes the balance your compassion or higher nature is coercing your lower nature, but they're working in unison, okay? And actually, if you want to think about this even more in depth, the Fibonacci sequence can actually be seen that way, right? Because the Fibonacci sequence starts with a square or an outline, okay? And is circled by the compass or compassion, the perfect. The imperfect is being circled around by the perfect, okay? It's the perfect unison, okay? So I'm just so, I'm so done. Uh, actually, uh... I'm so done with the whole conspiracy. I'm scared of Freemason shit. Learn about some real stuff about Freemasons. Okay, well, Freemasonry. Not, not Freemasons. You know what? I, I mean, ancient Masonry. What is ancient Masonry? What, were the, what does that mean, Masonry? The builders. Are you a builder of your universe? Yes. That's why I wear this hat. I, think, I find these teachings to be important. I don't care what the common conspiracy says. You know, any, everything occult is, is both ways. It can go any way. So that needs to be remembered. All right.